Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Today we thought we would share our morning routine living full time in the RV. And how it starts off is about 4.30 to 5.30 in the morning. June wakes up and Corbin goes to grab June. <laughs> And she stays in here. Look, look at the window. And she snuggles, she's not usually in this awake. It's not, it's 7.30 now, but she stays in here and she snuggles with me until usually about seven. And then she wakes up at seven and she plays yeah. with this window <laughs> for a good while, like 30 minutes, looking at trees. Looking at different things, playing with the blanket. Baba, you want nanam? Nanam. Nanams. Time for num nums. Do you want to say something? Something. <laughs> <laughs> Say num num. Num num. Uh, okay, num num. Come on. Let's go get some num. Go get num nums. Num num. After we get out of the bed, we get the box of num num, and we actually up front we store her yeah. high chair. Yeah. Yeah. Your yeah. high chair. This is our storage area and our dirty laundry. Oh so I gotta get the high chair and then we put it down here on the sofa so you can eat, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's get some breakfast. So once Juniper is situated, I've played with her for a little bit. It's gotten brighter outside. Um, I will, and I'll just do that for a couple minutes. Um, and she's over there entertaining herself. Then I will start making breakfast. And usually for breakfast, I will either make scrambled eggs. There's like three meals that I make. Scrambled eggs, uh, yogurt parfaits, or um, oatmeal. So today I am making oatmeal. And I just light the stove. We have our three burner stove right here. I'll light it, put the water on, boil it, put the oatmeal in, and... Then we'll have breakfast. How's breakfast this morning, Bug? Num num? Num num? Yummy. Looks pretty good. While Corbin gets up with June and starts to make breakfast for everyone, I am going to make our bed and take Paris out. Okay, Paris, the bed is made. Are you ready to go out? You ready to go out? Sit! Good boy! Okay, so then once breakfast is over, I actually dress June and I go into her little, this is her little area for her clothes. We have like her diapers, her wipes, her diaper cream, um, socks, pajamas, everything is all organized in a certain way in this drawer. So I will change her diaper, pick out an outfit for the day. She has all her pants right here. These look comfy. Or maybe I'll do some black ones. And then I will get her dressed, which can sometimes kind of be difficult. She doesn't usually like getting dressed in the morning, um, but she has to get dressed. I usually bribe her with like, we're gonna go for a walk once you're dressed. She loves going on walks, so. She also loves Kitty. So Kitty helps me get her dressed and bribes for going on walks. While Corbin is getting June dressed and ready, I finally make myself a cup of coffee and I clean up what's been made a mess from breakfast. So I put away the high chair, do the dishes, kind of just like, organize and get this place a little bit uh, maintained and under control. It's a small space so it's never perfectly clean but we try to keep it orderly. So I've done the dishes already and I put the high chair back up into storage. I'm just gonna probably sweep the floor just like put little random things away. That's 
pretty much how it looks during the day after I've cleaned up. It's not perfect, but everything kind of has its spot and it feels organized. Besides up there, that bit is still kind of like messy, but like the kitchen is pretty much organized and there's nothing on the couch and June's area is kind of put together. The floor is swept, so it feels it feels maintained and clean enough for the day. Um, now I'm finally gonna go get myself ready. June should be ready, so I'm gonna head back there and um, she likes to play makeup with Mama, so I take out all my makeup and she usually will sit on the bed and kind of just like play with it as I get myself ready. <laughs> Okay, and then it's time for me to finally get ready, and usually I'll like throw on this sweatshirt and some sweatpants in the morning just because it's a little chilly. Oh, I also turn on the heat in the morning. Well, so we've been sleeping with this, this like propane heater that works really great at night. We just sleep with it on, and it's like a, a slow, constant heat. But if I don't, and if there's no generator restrictions, then I'll turn on the generator, warm up the whole RV, so that way everyone's warm and cozy for breakfast. But I do that like right when I wake up. But now I will fully get dressed for the day, which takes me about two seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and comb my hair. There we go, all combed, and usually switch my shirt and my pants. Okay, and that is our full morning routine. Yay! Hey, and usually, now we can go out on an adventure. Yeah, go on a hike, go on a bike ride, but that whole routine, what would you say? We usually finish by like nine. Yeah, it takes us about a couple hours to get yeah. completely ready and out the door. If we wake up at seven, it's usually like nine. Yeah. 8.30. If we are like really trying to get somewhere on time, then we can like squeeze it together and yeah. get out the door earlier. We have an expedited version where it's expedited. like we can get ready by like eight or whatever time we want. It just takes us like an hour. So that is our morning routine, living in an RV with kids. Leave a comment down below what you think about it. If you have any suggestions or tips, thumbs up if you if you liked today's video, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Be where your feet are. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.